about how we're Twitter? No. going into this next set with Tater Nader and Ketchup. Yo, please tell me we're about to see the ditto. I am looking forward to this so much. Ketchup okay. is one of those players that is is known in SoCal to be like one of the better like uh, junior players, one of the better Koopaling players. And Tater Nader had that legacy from, from Smash 4. Obviously, when the, this game came out, mm -hmm. he kind of transitioned to other characters. He was playing the Inkling for a while. Didn't really believe in the Koopaling until he started to see like a little, a little bit more Koopaling play, and he was like, "You know what? I mean, can you? I, I could be him? good with this character. Can you blame him for doubting the Koopalings and in ba Bowser Jr.? No. <laughs> when this game came out, everyone was saying like, "Oh, that's the worst character in the game." Yeah. Ketchup, on the other hand, he was one of he's one of the players that since day one he's like. Nah, people don't know, like, this character is actually pretty good. This and he has, busted. like, he has very good combos. Like, Clown Cart, still very good, like, burst option. I don't know, man. It, and it combos into all the up airs. Mm -hmm. right? You're going to see that rapid jab get punished by a down air. We're going to see a lot of forward airs, earthquake hitboxes, Clown Carts, down airs, and, of course, rapid jabs at the ledge. Yeah, all right, rapid jab. <laughs> rapid jab, of course, at the later percents is going to be a very potent kill option by the ledge. So you don't want to do a, a neutral get up into that at any point. That's like the worst way to lose. I can tell you I've played catch up enough to know he, he definitely likes using that move. Showing off a little bit of his cool seconds. He actually took control of both Ko Mecha Koopas um, that were on stage. Uh, possibly showing who has the more dominant item play. Percent's about even right here. Ketchup trailing by a tiny margin. Both players just kind of clown carding toward each other. That one netting. Taternator, the stage control. Expertly timed get up from Ketchup. The five pegs ledge though. Oh, but the Mecha Koopa is going to stop that clown cart recovery. Take control of the Mecha Koopa. And, ooh, spin out. Get out of my face. Right, there's a Mecha Koopa. Explosion. Oh, dude, he didn't get the explosion. He got the, like, the initial hit of the, uh, what is that move? Ship, ships away, what's that called? Up, 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 up <laughs> No, they up beat. Oh, uh, uh, ejector scene? Something like that. The ejecto. <laughs> it, ha it has a real, it has an actual name. Oh, I'm, like, mad, because it's, like, it's, like, ships. Is it funny? No, it's, like, uh, it, it makes sense for what it is. That's why I'm, like, upset, because it's, like, wait, it's, like, obvious. Up smash, though. That's going to be a good option out of shield for Taternator, and he takes that first stock. All right, not before Taternator got mad. I'm mad. That's funny, though. <laughs> okay, catch up. I didn't see exactly what he did, but he got that second stock, and we're down to even. Actually, he didn't. He took, like, only 9%. It's very really solid. Yeah, able to clean up that stock, really bring these percents back to even. Now, landing that down Directional air dodge, wave landing onto the stage. Very smart from Taternator because you know that Ketchup had that grab on lock. Yeah. And he was throwing it out. He was ready to get the follow-up and the reset. I really like the way Tater got back onto the stage right there. He kind of uses double jump to position himself above the lip of the stage and then use a clown cart to go past Ketchup, who was trying to set up a ledge trap. Okay, traps coming out from Ketchup. Even game here. Two stocks apiece. Taternator holding down the center, not before Ketchup makes his way back in. All right, really good stuff by Taternator, just holding on to the Mecha Koopa. Uh, works similar to like uh, Snake holding grenade and shield, right? Just wait. Yeah. Blows, wait until it blows up and he gets some sort of conversion off of it. Or even if he doesn't get the conversion, I mean, it just like makes his him holding shield a little bit safer. If he gets a little bit of damage, if his opponent is anywhere nearby. Yeah, but those cannonballs are making quick work of the Mecha Koopas. I like usually see a lot of traps being set up with Mecha Koopas, but most players are just utilizing the the oh, actual cannonball man. very smart. Right, this is so much shenanigans right here. There was, there's a lot of stuff going on around that. Whoa, whoa, what, dude? That wasn't even by the lip, by by the side of the stage. That was almost center stage, and that still KO'd. Yeah, that rapid jab is insane. Has a good amount of knockback. I'm sure, rage also played a factor. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Taylor had a very high percent. Shambole, what does that even mean? Catch up with the back there, though. Shambole means back air. 40%. Oh, okay. Surprised he didn't go for the grab. Goes for the dash attack. His tech probably reading uh, a roll backwards. 
Or right, attempting to, anyways. Down air connects. Oh, but the grab release doesn't come out quick enough for the next people to actually connect. That's a that's a setup we see uh, Taternator use quite often. I'm surprised that it didn't work. Probably because Ketchup's very wise to it. Yeah. All right, Ketchup struggling a little bit to uh, find more damage on this last stock. Oh, the spin out is that enough? Unbelievable, dude! That thing is strong. I mean, he was at like he was above 100 percent, but. I didn't think uh, it was that strong. The power Christ. of Wendy. Wendy, dude, is that is that the best one? Uh, I'm sure Tater some would say, say so. so yeah, yes. Tater would say so. Definitely a Wendy main. I think there's a lot of Ludwig fans <laughs> out there. Yeah, Ketchup is one of them. Uh, remember when there was that whole thing where the the Smash YouTubers they they all got together one day and uploaded <laughs> Wendy videos. It was like 18 <laughs> Wendy videos. <laughs> my entire like YouTube timeline was just like my inbox was Wendy. I was like, what the hell is going on, dude? Jump on Twitter. I'm like, ah, Alpharet. Shenanigans, of course. Oh, whoa, dude, that transition's so sick. That's that's dope. Yeah. Okay, a couple Game of up bears. Oh, and he took uh, catch ups second jump. We saw the wave come out. That was just really the green light for Terranero to get as many up airs as he can because the only uh, defensive option really Ketchup had at his disposal was air dodge. Yeah, Ketchup needs to be a little bit more careful about when he is choosing to pull a Mecha Koopa. Because there is a little bit of startup on that and uh, it seems like Ke Taternator is catching on to this and using the spin out of the clown cart to like punish that. Okay, Mech Koopa running around, but Taternator going to reset it and throws it. Doesn't really get much for it, but it does keep catch up and shield, which allows Taternator to set up a new trap. Okay, up smash right there. Taternator taking the first KO. Okay, more up oh, airs. But oh. oh, what a grab with the pivot grab, reading the air dodge into the ground. Not getting too much off of it, though. But I mean, sometimes it's not about the percents, it's yeah, about the traps yeah. that you're setting. And as you can see, Taternator is making good use of the time that uh, Ketchup is giving him. Nice, there's another up smash from Taternator. This one, this time, not enough percent to get the KO. Down throw here by the ledge. Wow, dude. <laughs> How did he have the Koopa? <laughs> he did it, dude. The Koopa was like crawling back on the way through, and in the, it timed so perfectly that on the release, it cl it cling uh, just clinged on to grabbed on and said, yep. we're going for a ride. Yep, dude. <laughs> that was sick, dude. Come with me. <laughs> that was big brain, perfectly timed. Taternator is actually a Koopa God. Wow, that is that is some new tech. I, I've i seen a lot of these right? Bowser Jr. shenanigans, but that's, that was new. that's a new one. <laughs> that was definitely new. Oh, going right. for the Rev Jet. No, actually backing off. Yeah. Allowing uh, Katsu to escape and resetting all these traps. Yeah. Katsu having so much, a lot of difficulty just staying grounded. You know, the fact that Taternator backed off, he only went for the, the two jabs was pretty smart, despite, like, even if he went for the full rapid jab, he was only at, like, 18%, so he wasn't going to die. But it would have allowed Ketchup to get some sort of punish at by the leg. Ouch, man. That was definitely untackable. Down air, getting the stage spike, and Taternator on a very healthy second stock here. One game up on Ketchup. Do another down air. Okay. Cool. That would have been four downers in a row from both of them. <laughs> okay, we're going to see the up throw and of course the up air. So expecting a little bit different BI. Okay, in now it's getting so much mileage out of it. Dude, on both ends too, that move is, it's, it's so interruptive in, disruptive in this matchup, right? Like anytime Ketchup uh, tries to go for some sort of edge guard, like Taternator can just get back to the stage with the clown card, and the spin out will just like beat out whatever aerial that Ketchup is attempting to throw, and likewise on the other end as well. They're both doing the same thing. And going for another setup right there, Taternator just doing a jab one, two. Oh, dude, the <laughs> Koopa, the, oh, the Mecha Koopa was on him again, dude. That was so. If he didn't die to that spin out, he was dying to the to the Mecha Koopa in the blast zone. But Taternator with a really solid 2-0. What are these sticky Mecha Koopa setups? I needed to ask him about that. It was looking like Snake. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, like he's pressuring his opponent, took some forcing notes. them into shield or even hitting them. Yeah. And then the Mecha Koopa explodes after that. I mean, it's not as strong as the C4, right. but it's still 
can be enough, especially launching your opponent so far off stage. 